Have you ever flown an aircraft just after maintenance? What a proper approval for a return to service looks like? Stay tuned to find out more. According to CFR 43.9, any person who performs maintenance, repairs, or alterations on an aircraft shall make an entry in the maintenance record with the following information. A description of the work performed, the date the work was completed, the name of the person who performed it, and the signature, certificate number, and kind of certificate held by the person approving the work. The example below is what a maintenance record should look like. The other thing you may run into is flying an aircraft after an inspection. After an inspection, your maintenance record entry should contain a certification statement, the date of the inspection, the aircraft total time in service, and the signature, certificate number, and kind of certificate held by the person approving the return to service. Remember, while a qualified mechanic can return an aircraft to service, it's the owner or operator's responsibility to make sure that the maintenance records were done properly and entered into the aircraft's records. Here's a safety alert from the NTSB encouraging pilots to do an advanced pre-flight inspection after any maintenance event or inspection event. Both the NTSB and the FAA want pilots to pay careful attention to flight control cables as there have been a number of flight control cable related incidents and accidents recently. This information was sent out by the General Aviation Joint Steering Committee, which is a government industry partnership working to improve general aviation safety. Check out their website and sign up for their monthly newsletter at gajsc.org. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more aviation content.